A young teenage girl lived at home with her mother, father, and her much-loved pet dog. Being 16 years old, her parents decided that she was now old enough to be left alone while they went out for the evening. Although there was some concern about leaving a young girl in the house all by herself, they knew she was sensible and would behave. And besides, she did have the pet dog to look after her and keep her company. The parents left for the night, leaving emergency phone calls and supplies for the night. The girl was thrilled to be spending her first night alone in her parents' house and mainly watched TV until 11 o'clock rolled around. Deciding she was tired, she moved upstairs to her comfy bedroom to retire for the night, her trusty dog following her all the time. After being asleep for a short time, she awoke to a dripping noise coming from the bathroom. Not afraid, but curious as to what the noise was, she lowered her hand down beside her bed to gain a little comfort from her dog. She felt the warmth of his soft tongue as he licked her hand, showing her that he was okay and that everything would be alright. Feeling assured, she drifted off to sleep once more. Waking once again to the sound of the dripping tap, or whatever it was, in the bathroom, she instinctively dropped down her hand to pet her dog. Once again, her dog offered up the loyal companionship that only a much trusted and loved pet can, and licked her hand, and she once again fell asleep. For the last time she woke up again, that annoying noise was still going on. She reached for her dog, but found that he wasn't there. Wondering where her parents were at this time of night, it was about 3.30 a.m. by this time, and looking for her dog, she walked out into the bathroom. A horrifying sight met her. The dog had been mutilated and was the one creating the dripping noise. As blood slowly fell and pooled on the floor below, screaming, she ran back through the house and attempted to call the police. The phone was dead, and she turned to suddenly see her parents were also mutilated behind her. Her screams could be heard as she looked down at a note written in blood. It read, Humans can lick too.